today's movie business compared to, let's say, 50 years ago, 60 years ago? Let me compare it to something a little earlier, which is uh, the studio system in 19, late 20s and early 30s, um, when people had seven-year contracts uh, and vast numbers of people were employed. Uh, and there was a kind of um, trade identity uh, and a kind of security about the business um, that was in many ways beneficial uh, and which uh, kind of sustained American filmmaking. It was what made American movies different than European films because the European films even back then were more uh, organized the way we do it now. You pick up a company, you get some people together, you find a script, you find a producer, you put it together, you do it once, and it's all over. That's, that was basically the prevailing European model uh, for many years. Um, you know, the studio system, I sense, not having been there, uh, but from what I hear about it, um, was a um, big family, uh, and people felt happy and secure uh, working for it, and took a kind of pride in doing a kind of workmanlike job, um, which is a different sort of head. I remember running into a wonderful old director um, years ago, uh, and uh, I said to him, well, what's your greatest sense of accomplishment? And he said, I always brought my movies in on time, uh, and uh, I always, uh, my movies always made money, uh, and it was great. Uh, and that was my satisfaction. There was no talk in that about art or soul or character. I, I think so. It was a different kind of perspective uh, and a more industrially oriented, um, of, you know, sustaining uh, environment. That's different now when we meet people and pick up groups and uh, shoot uh, whatever we can shoot. Uh, it's um, really a uh, much more fragmentary kind of life, I think, than it was for filmmakers back in the golden days of the studio. And I guess they felt um, sustained by it. It was hard work and hours and so on. But there was a, a kind of secure identity that I think they had that we often don't anymore. And then things changed and how? Well, when the studios broke up in the 50s, um, that was a really sort of a crucial break point for movie history. Uh, you know, uh, when stars instead of producers uh, were uh, sort of in control and people were writing their own contracts and financing their own movies. Uh, for better or worse, um, things changed and when studios lost their uh, distribution arms and their exhibiting uh, theaters, uh, things changed. Uh, and uh, better or worse, it's different. Uh, great things happened, but it's different.